for jamming in the key of A minor. You probably see an A minor chord for you guitarists that know your chords. If you put these letters together, they would create the letters A, C, and E, the word ace. So those are the notes of an A minor chord, and they're actually all over the fretboard. So this chart shows you where they all are. And if you play them in a guitar solo or in a picking pattern of some kind of musical harmony of these blue letters, they're gonna match your A minor chord. So if you have your A minor, it, these are all just combinations of the letters A, C, and E. And you can play them different ways to make it sound like a solo. Now, the next thing we can do is add in an A minor 7 chord where we add in a G note. So this, the reason we call it the seventh is because it's seven letters away from A in our scale, our alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's seven letters away. So if you add in any G notes on the scale, like this G on the third fret, when you make your solo, It'll match the A minor seven. So these are all blue. They're the most sort of resolved sounds of the A minor key here. The next one is if we add in the green D note, this would make it a pentatonic because there's gonna be five letters. A, C, D, there's a G and an E, so that it'll work, but it's five letters. So if you play them on this chart, the blues and the greens, you get a pentatonic scale. And that's all over the fretboard. Now knowing what fingers to use can be a little bit tricky. There's different uh, positions, different areas that you can cover. But for now, I'd encourage you not to worry too much about it. Even just start with one finger and try either the blue letters or the green letters and just listen to the harmony and sound over top of an A minor chord and how it matches. And you'll notice the blues tend to sound really resolved, the greens a little bit less. Then we add in a blues note. This is music theory we'll call the flatted fifth. And I call it red lava. So when you play that note, if you slide out of it, it tends to have this really cool bluesy tension. It sounds kind of like this. A, C, D, E, flat. That's the red letter, the red lava. So we go to the E, the G, and the A. So that can sound really bluesy. So that would be including the A minor pentatonic with the red blues note. That becomes an A minor blues scale. So we're constantly adding new colors to these original chords. A minor, the ace, A minor seven, A, C, E, G, all blue. Add in the green, D, add in the red blues note. And then if you add in a orange F sharp, this becomes the Dorian mode. The Dorian has this really interesting sound, often used over an A minor six chord. So anytime you add an F sharp note in like this, you would have these letters A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, that's the orange one, G and A. So if you play that over an A minor chord and you have an F sharp, sounds like the Dorian mode. And it works really well if you have a chord that's using F sharp. Because um, sometimes in this key, you may use like a D major chord and that has an F sharp in it. But if you're doing a different type of minor, you could do the natural minor instead of the F sharp, you use the natural F. I made that one red on this chart, the A natural minor. So the red F has kind of a tense sound in the key, so I put an arrow there because it often wants to resolve back to the blue E. So here's an example of playing 
A natural minor. Say starting on the A, B, C, D, E, F, this time not F sharp, G, and A. So if you play that F note, it wants to often go back to the E and the key to resolve. So that was red to blue. A natural minor. Now, here's the ultimate challenge, is you can combine all of these scales with this color chart. Just note that with certain chords that you play in the key of A minor, certain notes will, you'll want to emphasize. So for example, if you play an F chord in this key, you'd want to use the F note, probably not the F sharp, because the F sharp would be the clashing one. Um, if you played a chord that had F sharp in it, you'd probably want to play the orange note instead of the red F. So the ultimate challenge would be the, the A minor with all the notes. You've got the bluesy E flat in red. You've got the natural minor F if you have an F note in one of your chords. And you have the orange F sharp if you want that Dorian sound. And the greens are your um, other color tones. Another thing to consider is when you're counting chords, you count your alphabet. A is one, B is two, the third is C, the fourth is D. We call this the flat and fifth. This is the blues note. It's E flat. Then E is the fifth. A flat six is the F. A normal six is that orange Dorian F sharp. So if you have an A minor six chord, you would use F sharp. A minor seven uses the G. And the eighth would be A again, so we're counting up our alphabet. B is a ninth, so if you have a B note in your chord, it's an A minor ninth. C is the tenth, D is the eleventh, but it's also the fourth, because we count through it twice to get all these big chord names. E is the twelfth, F would be a flatted thirteenth, if you went to the higher F instead of the lower F. The higher F sharp, orange, would be a 13 harmony if it's quite high up instead of low down. It's kind of a cool concept as well. And remember the color code is blue is resolved, green is a little less resolved, and orange is spicy and red is really spicy. There's the key of A minor, have fun.